Hi everyone, my name is Deborah and welcome to the Edit by DH. Welcome to another video. Today it is all about the Korean skincare brand Seolwazu. I'm not sure if you've heard of this brand. If you haven't, you need to know about it. And that's why I'm doing a video. It's actually my first video on Seolwazu. However, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen that I posted some reels when I was in Korea back in May. So I visited the Seolwazu flagship stores in Seoul, Korea. There's two beautiful ones. So one is in Bukcheon in Seoul, which is a very traditional Korean Hanok style house. And it's over several floors. It's a complete experience. It's quite unlike any other store I'm sure most of you have been to. You know, I, I love shopping. And even for me, it was a very new experience with the shop on the, the ground floor. Then you had like this seated, quiet, loungy area on the first floor, which attached to a tea shop selling teas from a brand, a Korean tea brand called Osolok. And then after that upstairs, where they serve the tea, but also something similar to an afternoon tea, as well as a garden and terrace. And then the floor above that had a bar. So it was just so amazing to see. I will include the links for the reels down below. And then the other flagship store was in Gangnam, which is like the Mayfair in London equivalent. But their point of differentiation is that I think the store is on the, f the ground and first floor. And then you have a two spas on the third and fourth floor, I believe, something like that. And so I'm sure they offer very luxurious treatments using their gorgeous, expensive, but high quality products. I'm sure treatments for the face and body. I have yet to experience that, but I probably will try to go at some point, maybe the next time I visit Korea. Anyway, so please do check out those reels if you haven't done already. On that note, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do follow me on Instagram because I do try to post quite different content or I'll post like more detailed pictures of things that I show in my video over on Instagram. So if you're not following me already, please go check it out. With any kind of new brand, I like to give an intro about the brand because I just think even if you have heard of it, Perhaps you might not, not know the history of it. And even though I say new, it's definitely not a new brand. It's been around for donkey's years in Korea. Um, in fact, I think they started in 1932. So I'll give you a little bit of information before I get stuck into the products. So on their website, it says, Rooted in Korean heritage, Seo was born in 1932 with a pioneer spirit that still inspires us today. We explored the unknown and were the first to infuse ginseng with skincare. We create products as works of art, powered by heritage and unique skin science to transcend time and generations. With artistry and creativity as our vehicle, Taiwazu aims to bring new experiences globally, inspiring people to explore their heritage and create their own version of beauty. As one of Asia's most precious herb, ginseng is celebrated for its miraculous benefits and many efficacies. An essential in our key products, ginseng embodies both our rich brand history and innovative spirit as artists in the field of beauty. Through decades of research and harnessing the power of bioconversion technology, Taiwaz's ginseng extract uses a rare ginseng saponin that is further concentrated 6,000 times to deliver powerful anti-aging benefits and visibly rejuvenates skin. So from that, you should have gathered that ginseng is like their key ingredient. To be honest, Seolwazu is not a cheap brand. I'll just put that out there from the beginning. It is known as a luxurious brand. However, they put so much research into it. They've been around for a long time. So they are known as like industry experts. And yes, they have a makeup line, but they're still predominantly known for their skincare line because it works. And like I said, Although there's so many good ingredients, ginseng is the key ingredient and they are known as like the ginseng skincare brand. In Asia, ginseng is so revered and people are obsessed with ginseng. It's so common to give ginseng as a gift. It's like a, a root and it's not cheap. So whether that's a ginseng extract, a ginseng health 
drink, ginseng powder, ginseng supplements, dried ginseng. It's a very good gift for somebody because of its many known health benefits. So it's inevitable that it was at some point going to be shoved into skincare pot. And so I think Tolwazu were one of the first brands to do that, to include ginseng in their skincare products. So as with most skincare brands, sometimes it can be so overwhelming. You're like, where do I start? I only have one mug and where do I start? There's thousands or what seems like thousands of products. And it's so easy to fall into the best seller trap. But I would kind of like ward against that in terms of skincare because, you know, it might suit many, many people, but it might not suit you. And especially when it comes to skin types, I would just practice caution. Normally what I find with best seller products is that it's great for people who have kind of like normal, maybe slightly combination skin, people who have generally unproblematic skin. But if, so, if you're someone with quote unquote problematic skin, if you're someone with specific skincare concerns like, you know, quite bad acne or real concerns about fine lines and wrinkles or very, very dry skin, I would stay clear of bestsellers and just ask the consultant for advice on which of the lines would suit you best, which would suit your skin type the best and meet the needs of your skincare concerns. So in my case, if you don't know already, I have very dry skin. So anything that literally chucks moisture at my face, I'm like, yes, please. So in the case of Holoazu, they have different lines. Like most skincare brands, they have different lines and collections. So for me, the concentrated ginseng line is really best for me because it's really, really hydrating, great for not only anti-aging benefits, fine lines and wrinkles, but also just quenching the moisture that your skin needs. So one of the products that I got was the Concentrated Ginseng Serum. This is the full size and this is the 50 ml bottle. Now on the USA's Hoazu website, I've had to go to the USA one because I don't believe they have a UK website. So I will make sure I include all the links down below of all the things I'm talking about. But this one is $210 for 50 mil. Now, I did warn you and say it's pricey, but sometimes I think like, yes, some skincare brands are expensive for the sake of being expensive and can be overrated. But I think some skincare brands like Hoasu are expensive because they work, because they have top quality ingredients in them, because they've spent decades researching and making sure that it does what it's supposed to do and says it will do on the bottle. So I think, you know, you quickly grasp whether some brands are very like gimmicky or whether it actually works. And for me, I have tried the concentrated ginseng skincare line, not all of the products, but most of it. So I can say that for me, for my dry skin, it definitely works. They do have a smaller bottle, which is 15 mil, and that's $65. So there are different sizes, but I guess it also depends where you're based. So it is described as a hydrating serum formulated with our capsule technology that melts onto skin on contact to deliver powerful anti-aging benefits from visibly improving wrinkles to overall radiance. Address visible signs of aging with our powerful concentrated ginseng renewing serum featuring thousands of ginsenomic capsules that dissolve immediately onto skin to help visibly improve wrinkles, promote a more lifted appearance, boost skin resilience and more. So it says to warm three pumps between the fingers and apply to your face and neck in an upward motion. So that's exactly what I'll do. Oh, I just love the smell of the serum because it actually smells of ginseng. There's a sweetness with ginseng. When you eat it, there's an initial sweetness and then it has a very, very bitter note. And as you know, anything bitter is generally very good for your health. That's why I don't like bitter things. But in this skincare, they've managed to capture that initial sweet note of the ginseng. Um, but it's very fresh. It's not like, it doesn't smell like a perfume, if you know what I mean. Of course, with anything, I always recommend reading the ingredients list on the website. So I just like to massage it in. And then it says gently wrap palms around the face to help serum absorb into skin. 
so that goes in very very nicely then i got the concentrated ginseng renewing cream classic um, there is a renewing cream and a renewing cream classic the cream just the cream where it doesn't say classic is moisturizing and visibly firming and then the classic is deeply moisturizing and visibly firming so this is clearly more hydrating the classic so that is exactly what i got and it is 260 dollars for 60 mils again i know it's pricey i know it's not cheap but i will tell you why i'm so excited about this product in just a second so it says our signature cream is newly formulated with a richer texture that addresses multiple visible signs of aging and rejuvenates complexion. It's emollient rich, deeply hydrating texture envelops skin with nourishment and a subtle scent of ginseng. Improve the look of wrinkles and firmness with ginsenomics. Our signature ginseng saponin while ginseng peptides help protect skin from environmental stresses. The only reason I'm not going to apply this is because I have the concentrated ginseng masks and i'm assuming that you have clicked on my video because of my bold audacious claim that this may be the best face mask in the world now in this pack there are five and on the website it is 120 dollars for five which works out to about 24 dollars i believe per mask and so that's pricey like when you think about your dr jart and other masks i believe they are about five six dollars depending on which country you live in depending on which shop you shop at but they're about five six dollars which in itself is quite expensive compared to korea depending on the brand again but this works out to about $24 per mask. I know it sounds absolutely madness, but if you get it in Korea, it works out to less than $20 per mask. That's if you manage to go to Korea. So just to show you, that's what the inside looks like. This is a, a, an example of one of the masks. It's very heavily wrapped. Um, and the great thing is even if you buy it from Korea, it has the instructions in English with some helpful diagrams. So I will open that in just a moment. But the reason why I'm not using the cream is I heard that this mask is basically this cream in a mask, just to let you know. Yeah, so when I click on the description, it says the best ingredients for my beloved concentrated ginseng renewing cream in one easy to use mask to address visible signs of aging and provide instant hydration and radiance. Our innovative double wrapping sheets ensures it fits snugly onto skin so that every drop of the formula is absorbed without dripping. And again, it has the ginsenomics and the ginseng peptides. So I have used this mask and uh, guys, I'm obsessed with it. Like I bought two packs of it and I've almost gone through one pack and I'm about to hit the second pack. And yes, they are expensive. If you can afford them, I would say bathe in them, swim in them, wear them every day for the rest of your life. But unfortunately, I'm not a millionaire. So I just use them for when my skin really, really needs TLC or when it's particularly dry or when I have like a special event and I want my skin to look. That's when I use it and save it for. It has a little tab at the top, little whatever you call it. So it makes it easier to open. The beauty of this mask is that it doesn't drip, which you'll see in a minute, because it's got the cream in it, which doesn't drip, it's not a liquid, it's a cream, so it doesn't drip. So if you are that person that doesn't like those drippy sheet masks, this is for you. But what I find is that there's sort of like no in-between, and maybe this is because I haven't discovered any just yet. So I find that sheet masks are either very drippy, very wet, or they are there's like those dry sheet masks. I think Charlotte Tilbury has one. I really don't see the point of it. I used it once and I was literally confused by it. So if you love the Charlotte Tilbury one, please let me know because I, I would love to know. Or if you know any kind of in-between ones. So for me, I don't mind the drippy ones, but they are a nuisance in that they just go everywhere. So you have to make sure you're wearing like an old t-shirt that you don't mind getting wet. Whereas with this mask, for me, it's the perfect balance. So it doesn't drip, but at the same time, it's not dry. So your skin feels like it's being moisturized and nourished and hydrated. And it comes in this plastic 
cover which protects the mask and then it comes separate so there is a top half and a bottom half so it's easier to apply i personally prefer masks that are half and half because they're easier to apply and they just fit your face more snugly so i personally prefer that i always like to apply the the eye first because it makes me feel like Catwoman. the gold part is the outside and then it's got the white part and this is where you just take off the sheet it's also got little like cuts in the mask to make sure that it fits properly and fits around the contours of your face. So I'll apply the, the eye first. What I will say is when you take off the white bit, you'll notice that the cream, there's a lot of cream on the white bit. Please don't throw this plastic bit away. It is it such a waste. So I just gently peel it and then I keep it top side up so that it doesn't get onto anything. And I leave it for my body because I love moisturising the rest of my body with this because it just feels so luxurious. So with one face mask, you're essentially like masking up or creaming up your whole body with this expensive cream. So it's, oh, I just love masks when they first go on and they're cold. So if you want it colder, leave it in the fridge. Especially great in the summer. Then just going to peel the mouth bit. It's going to be hard to talk, but I will try. It's so funny because when I just have the eyes on, I feel like Catwoman. But when I just have the mouth bit on, I feel like Santa Claus with the beard. Okay, so you can see how snugly it fits. And my face is quite big, so the fact that it fits is fantastic. Now you just leave it on for like 10 to 20 minutes. You can leave it on for longer if you want, to be honest. But it's a general guideline time for most sheet masks are 10 to 20 minutes. So I am literally going to leave it on because I want to show you the full effect. And I will be back after watching some K-drama. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. It says to just slowly peel off the mask and then um, just like pat in the residue so I'm just going to slowly remove I tend to have more dryness around my mouth so on long-haul flights I used to do it but when, the first uh, plane that I got on to Korea kind of once the pandemic eased I actually put one of these not sorry was but a different brand mask underneath my mask and I was like loving life because it meant that my skin was hydrated and I knew it'd be moisturized even after I got off the plane so that because I feel like an idiot just wearing this on a plane right literally Santa Claus but underneath the mask it was easier to hide so it says to pat it which you can do I guess normally I like to rub it in though because there is so much cream so again this time i'm going to rub it on my neck because i deliberately left my neck earlier sorry guys there's no like pretty way to massage cream into your face that is the mask and honestly my face feels like hydrated all day when i wear this mask because you know some masks they feel hydrated initially and then throughout the day your skin sort of returns to its normal self but with this even when I, when I put makeup on it not only does it go on beautifully and make my skin look way more radiant it just feels cushioned all day long so honestly if I become a millionaire I think I will <laughs> literally wear one of these every day forget facials I will just wear that every single day um, and I just love the way that it makes my skin look it's not sh too shiny it literally looks like I've just come out of a facial etc anyway so if you do have a Sohwasu like branch or shop near you you're very very lucky if you do and it's not in Korea I would love to know where it is. I'm assuming they will have branches or at least counters in Asia, like some Asian countries like Singapore, I'm assuming. But if you live in a country that is not Asia, or even if it is Asia, 
just let me know if you have a Tawazu near you and whether it's a counter or a store, I would genuinely love to know because if I'm visiting another country and I know a Tawazu is there, I will for sure stop by and get another pack of the face masks and probably will need to top up on my skincare too. But yeah, the cream is essentially what is in the face masks. But yeah, I just I just love it so, so much. I would say it's definitely more suited to, like I said, dry skin, dehydrated, but especially dry to very dry skin types. So you guys will love this line. If you have oily skin, I definitely would not recommend this line. I would choose a different line because like I said, within most skincare brands, they have different lines suitable for different skin skin types so for oily skin people for my oily skin beauties definitely go for another line you can ask the Tawazu representative for advice on that or you could just look on the website so now I'm going to put some makeup on I will be using Westman Atelier for my face if you're interested in watching that video it will be linked down below including all the products that I've used today will also be linked down below I hope you enjoyed watching this video it's slightly different to what I normally do but I do want to start incorporating more uh, Korean skincare brands into my channel so I hope you enjoyed it it's slightly different Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.